guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting and reading to episode 6. I cannot believe I'm saying this, of Delicious Party Pretty Cure. After the couple of weeks or the month we have had with this show, the show is finally freaking back. And just, it feels like it's been a whole year. It really has. And I'm like, damn, like, <laughs> what all happened? Even though technically I know what the heck happened but still like oh my god this was just very crazy but i am super happy that this is back and that we can finally continue this series but other than that let's go ahead and get started in three two one go do i ever even remember what this episode is supposed to be about today no <laughs> absolutely no at all Oh, is it good? Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Too fast, too fast. Go. Yeah, coconut just went a little too fast. Oh. You had to cut it! Well, yeah. She's never said that. Baby's changing up. Oh my God, even here in this opening, it feels like forever. And she's finally coming next Saturday. Oh my god, you know what? Cause like, yeah, let's talk about that. This poor, our last year got delayed by a month. <laughs> a month of what, three weeks? Oh my god, I still can't believe that happened. Poor baby. Poor baby, oh my god. This is just going to make me even hungrier because I am hungry. I'm hungry and I'm cold. I still want one of those cups. <laughs>
Yeah, that's interesting. Is it good? You would never think that would taste good together, but you never know. Oh my god, Yui! Cause she still feels left out. That sucks. <laughs> uh oh. Seriously? You know what I'm kind of craving? A peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> I know, that's so weird and random to say. I love them so much and I've missed them so much as well. Baby. <laughs> Thank you. 
unfortunately. <laughs> and then next week it's going to be all three of them. so good. Nah, honey, nah. Oh, not the salad spinning thing. Close that door. Mm. Remember, he run in heels, so, you know, he gotta hurry up, but, you know, running in heels is a hassle. And they heel boots, too, so come on now. She did it. She was just crying. It's okay. You're fine now. I know she's so brave.
Baby, I know this is precious. Please do not take the power out. I am almost done with this episode. Once again, when they depart, it's going hard so bad for me. Oh my god. Is that like an Instagram account? That funny. All I hear is mine. <laughs> mine from a sentence of a bookworm. <laughs> Finally, this child is coming. It, it you know. How long has it been? How long has it truly been? Thank God she's finally coming in next week. But it, it would have been more funnier if it was the student council president who was the one taking the pictures. But of course, it was obvious it had to be Yum Yum being like, Yeah, I've been taking pictures of everything and posting them on my Instagram for everybody to see. This looks good. That looks good. Oh my God. But yes, once again, all I hear is freaking mine slash, um, what's her face from Simpho Gear. Okay, he he's girlfriend. Yes. Miku. There we go. <laughs> I remember that. Oh my god. But oh, this was so good. I mean, this was technically a Kohone focused episode. And once again, I'm not mad at it. Because she best girl. Like, oh, she's so precious. I love her so freaking much. Like, uh. Like, it, it's just, this is just episode, this episode was literally like part two of episode five. And, and well, mm, no, let's say part three, because her becoming friends with Yui, that was part one. Then becoming friends with Mary was part two. 
and then becoming friends with other students at school was part three for her little three-parter focus episode and I think for a good finale it was good she has more friends and that's all I care about because you know everybody thinks that because she is a lady and she is very tough and everybody you know calls her lady in her last name and such. she's like oh well she has a certain standard none of us can be friends with her Finally. Freaking finally. That's all I have to say. Finally, it's happening because, oh my god, when we get to next Saturday, next Saturday is going to be the best freaking day ever because finally, all three of these girls will finally be together, their team, until the 4th, and final care comes in all the way up in October. Unless, because of the delay, they're probably going to have the final pretty cure possibly come a lot earlier, in a way. I'm not 100% sure on that, because they, because, like, technically, with both Tropical Rouge and freaking Star Twinkle, they kind of really did that. But with Star, the difference between Star Twinkle and Tropical Rouge, with, to- with Tropical Rouge, it was because the delay situation of Healing Good going into Tropical Rouge, because, yes, that did affect Tropical Rouge pretty cure and how quickly um, they had to end that series and get it done before this aired. And so with Star Twinkle, it was kind of really more woven into the story of having our final cure, aka Cosmo, show up automatically kind of knowing that she was going to be the final cure and such initially. But I still think that I don't remember her freaking name because I always end up using her name. <laughs> her say either her say his name or like her name. But um, our lovely little cute villain, who I love so much, aka Darkness from Kanasuba, who is possibly also as well the student council president, because it's funny because any time when one of them's not on screen, you know, the opposite one appears. So, mm, I'm looking, you know, I see. So, yeah, it's a possibility. Um, If it is her, and like I said a couple of months ago when we officially found out that she was going to be a part of the show and I had a picture of her, I was like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and state it now. She's going to be a pretty cure by October. So, like, once again, it wouldn't surprise me if she is one. So, you know, it's just hoping that she gets the opportunity because I would like to see, you know, our classic trope of the villain or a mini villain becoming a pretty cure. We've seen it numerous of times. And I always love it, and I feel like every time when they do it, it kind of gets a little better and better each time, in my opinion. But, I mean, yeah, today's episode was very sweet. I I loved it. Heck, you make me hungry. I was already hungry after I finished watching Love Live, Nishikasaki, and and then this is just worse. Because, once again, this is technically not only a magical girl anime, this is also a food anime. So, you know, no matter how many times I'll sit and watch this show, I'm always going to be hungry every single time. Because every food looks good. The sandwiches. Oh, my God. The sandwiches looked good. Even the the freaking prosciutto on the melon that looked good and I don't even eat meat anymore but still well no I still occasionally I I will like reward myself and such but I would eat that I would eat that I really would because that looks really really freaking good but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode this was six right yes episode six of delicious party pretty gear if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next saturday sunday for episode seven for when this child our yum yum finally makes an appearance. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.